in the music industry, the music world, there's a specific kind of album, a specific kind of art that you can put out into the world that I think is particularly interesting, and that's the concept album. While an album is a collection of songs by one particular artist or group into one central place, a concept album is when all of those songs have something to do with each other and are centered around a general theme. A good example would be something like Dark Side of the Moon, which does feature a bunch of songs by Pink Floyd, but instead of a regular album, all of these songs center around general themes like greed and the passage of time and stuff like that. Or something like Sgt. Pepper. I mean, my music teacher always told me that Sgt. Sgt. Pepper was a concept album, but I've never really worked out what the concept is. I think the idea of the concept album is really interesting. I can't imagine how much work must go into writing nine plus songs about the same sort of subject. And recently, this past month, I've seen something formulate that wasn't exactly a musical concept album, but like a video blog concept album. A friend of mine and fellow video blogger who I met through YouTube named Max Wallace has been doing video every day in April on his main channel for the past two years, and each year it's sort of like a concept vita. His stuff is pretty awesome, and there's a link down in the description description if you want to watch it. What I mean by this is that he makes 30 different videos within the month of April, but most of these videos have something to do with each other and they sort of center around a theme like a concept album. I'm not really sure if he originally intended these collections of videos to be like concept Vitas, but the themes are definitely there. Like last year's Vita was sort of about development and this year's is sort of about progression. Most of his videos last year sort of centered around the idea of developing your skills at something and putting your own style into things. He said it a ton in a bunch of the videos during that month, but you can definitely see the progression of how his videos are in the beginning of the month and how they are at the end. The videos that he's been making this month, this year, all sort of centered around the idea of progressing at something and living your life the best and most efficient way that you can. And in a way, I feel like it's kind of a sequel of sorts to last year's Vita. It's like April 2012 is about developing your skill at something and Vita 2013 is about perfecting it. Again, link down below to both Vita playlists if you want to see them. But what I really wanted to talk about today was sort of just music to me. In a lot of Max's videos this month, he's talked about his relationship with music. About how he sort of knows a lot about a lot of instruments, but has never gotten really good at one particular one. So he decided to basically commit to the piano and get really good at it. I think it's amazing. Because music and songs, to me, exist as like one single entity. The idea that it can be broken up into notes and then splurged together into a song is kind of unfathomable to me. It's hard to explain, but I just can't break musical notes and different sounds from different instruments all into individual pieces and then picture how they would fit together. Like, how do the brains of songwriters work? How can they come up with tunes and melodies that don't already exist just off the top of their heads? And then sometimes, somehow, integrate words and lyrics that overlap that music, and it doesn't even necessarily have to fit to work right, so how does... Ah! The possibilities for what you can create are so limitless and open that it's hard for me to comprehend. Like, who came up with this? And how? Maybe if I took some lessons or something, I could learn, like, a basic understanding of how all this infinite awesome stuff works. But, to be honest, I sort of like living in awe like this. Imagine someone who's decent at playing, like, the banjo. They might know that in the grand scheme of banjo players, they're no Steve Martin, but most people don't know how to play the banjo and don't know the first thing about the banjo. So to those people, that okay banjo player will seem like the best banjo player they've ever seen. Take me, for example. If you've seen any other videos on my channel, it's likely that it was about a movie or a TV show or some form of pop culture. And if I'm being completely honest, I'd like to think that the majority of those videos feature pretty good and pretty well thought out opinions. Obviously, in the world and the universe of pop culture and movie reviewers, I don't know that much. But for someone who doesn't want to think about movies and television the way that I do, my opinions might seem a little bit more high class than they actually are. Whew, today's video was all over the place, but you know what? Each topic sort of segued into the next topic, and they all had something to do with each other. You could say they were centered around a central theme. Ergo, concept video. Yeah. <laughs> See you tomorrow.